Hello YouTube community, this is Sammy from California with an update on the uh, 64 Pontiac GTO uh, Gravel monogram. I got the motor basically done. I added some spark plug wires, uh, some gas lines. I used that, uh, it's called uh, Pro Scale uh, Chrome Paint with a sealer and um, clear coat over it. I'll go over that in a little while, but uh, here's basically the color of the car. Here's the interior. Not much there. Just a little bit. That's um I went online and uh, the color that went with this color on the outside was a parchment on the inside with black um, carpets and um, the package tray in the back was black also. Here's the dash. Tried to do the best I could with that. There's no decals. This is the color, that parchment, and then the body color. And that's the best I could do with that. Here's the uh, rims. I did not chrome the rims. These are the chrome from the kit. I tried to highlight the uh, lettering on the tires as best I could. What I did was um, I dry brushed some white paint over that and then let it dry for a little while and then I came back and I, with a Q-tip, cleaned around the areas to get it off the, the black part of the tire. Um, I'm not going with this lower situation here in carburetors. This is painted with that um, pro scale pro paint. Um, here's the one piece rear end mufflers. Uh, this goes with this. That's the Maltal pen, so you can see the difference. Here's the front bumper. This is painted with that chrome system. The best they could do with it. Here's the back. It has a good shine to it. Um, and uh, also the firewall, it's going to have um, this extra stuff here. And what I did was, um, it goes this way. I added some heater hoses. So we'll attach it to the engine. They go up here in the front, right in the front here. So, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. So, this uh, Pro Scale Chrome kit, I think is that what we call it, um, is made up of all these parts right there. Those six or five bottles, and they cost in about Fifty-seven dollars, I think, sixty dollars, somewhere on there. I had to try it just to see how good it would be, and I mean, it's all right. I mean, the, the 
thing about it is that it's durable. After you get it all painted and everything and clear coated, you can handle it without any issues smudging the, you know, putting fingerprints on it or rubbing it off or anything. So what you do, you start off with painting the parts a flat black, your primer, and uh, come back and then clear coat it with this 2K clear coat. So it's a three part, it's uh, the, the activator, the clear coat, and the thinner. After that's uh, dried in about a day, come back and you apply the uh, chrome. And you do like three light coats. And then when that's dry, you end up putting a sealer on it. And then when all that is dry, you come back and clear coat it again. So it's a big process, takes forever to do. And I'm not that good at mist coating chrome and stuff. So mine didn't come out as good as I thought it should be, but I did the best I could. But I just wanted to let you know what I tried. Uh, I doubt that I'll be using it. Uh, I might try it on another kit or something, but depends on how much clear coat is left over. Um, the clear coat, I, I got to recommend, that lays down smooth. It's a really nice clear coat. Um, the chrome, I mean, it's nice, but I would like a little more shine, you know, more metal light color. To me, it's a little too light. Uh, it doesn't represent real chrome, just like all the other products, really. Um, so, in my opinion, I prefer to stick with the kit chrome. I mean, why am I bothering dechroming everything, hassling, repainting everything? It, it's too expensive, too time consuming. And um, I mean, I'm glad a lot of you guys do it and it does look nice on your kits. But for my taste, the chrome kit is just fine. So anyways, I wanted you just to let you know what I was using and uh, as soon as I get more updates on uh, my progress, I'll do another video. So I hope this helped out anybody that was kind of thinking about getting some of this pro scale stuff. I found it on uh, International Scale Modeler website. It's from England, so this stuff takes a while to get. So, you know, if you're gonna use it, you better order it way in advance. Um, if you like doing this kind of stuff, I would recommend it. I mean, uh, you guys are better at this than I am. So anyways, everybody have a good day and uh, thank you for watching.